A social media post sparked concern on Grand Island this morning. A parent discovered a Snapchat message threatening violence against the Grand Island Central School District. Good evening. That parent immediately alerted the school, which contacted the Erie County Sheriff's Office. Students and staff are all safe. Classes continued as usual today, except for the student accused of making the threat. News Force Jen Chance is here with the story. Jen? Well, Don, sheriff's officials tell me the boy's parents are cooperating with law enforcement and that this case will now be handled by the family court. They couldn't comment on specific charges at this time. The superintendent says he's grateful an observant parent alerted the school. Just before 7 Monday morning, Superintendent Dr. Brian Graham received a concerning call. A parent discovered a threatening message via Snapchat. Their child, who is a student at the Grand Island Central School District, showed them the message sent by another student. The student made a threat toward the school. The boy law enforcement says sent that message attends the Veronica E. Connor Middle School. I'm so grateful for that parent to communicate to us, and that allowed us to act very, very swiftly. The threat, Graham says, was made at the boy's home, not on school property. This is the first time a threat like this has occurred since Graham took the position in July. Myself and the middle school principal uh, went directly to the sheriff's department, and from there we went directly to the student's home. Once law enforcement deemed the situation safe, students were allowed off the bus and classes carried on as normal. The Erie County Sheriff's Office is investigating the case, which will be turned over to family court. Sheriff's officials tell me the boy's parents are cooperating. Uh, there are so many apps and so many ways for students to use to communicate with their friends. It's also vitally important that parents are aware of those tools and that they have an open dialogue with their, their children. Now, sheriff's officials say there is no active threat at this time. They can't comment on any charges that boy may face. In terms of discipline from the school, that's being handled internally. Live in the studio, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 6.